Subscribe to Anu's Food Cart. Click on the bell icon and select the option All to get notification whenever I post a new video. Hello, friends. Welcome to Anu's Food Cart. First of all, Eid Mubarak to all my viewers out there. Today I'm going to share a very special Ramzan recipe. I must say it is one of the most liked Ramzan recipe. It is nothing but Sheer Kurma. Today I'm going to share a very quick, easy and tasty version of it. Traditionally it is prepared by reducing milk but today I'm going to use condensed milk instead. Do not worry about the taste because it tastes super super yummy just like it is made traditionally. So without any further delay, let us quickly check out the ingredients and the method to make it. To a bowl add 10 almonds, 15 split cashews, if you have whole ones, you can add about 7 to 10 of it. 1.5 tablespoons of pistachios and 6 pieces of dry dates. Now add about 1.5 cups of hot water to the bowl and soak the dry fruits for about 2 to 3 hours. Now I have taken the dry fruits off the water, peeled them up and now I am going to slice them up. Take 1.5 tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee into a pan and heat it on low flame. Once the ghee is hot, add in chopped almonds, chopped cashews and chopped pistachios to it. Now mix it well and cook until they turn slightly golden in color. As you can see here they are slightly golden. Now we'll add in the chopped dates to it. You can also add melon seeds and chironji if you like it. Once the nuts turn golden in color, add in about a tablespoonful of raisins to it. Fry until they plump up. As you can see here the raisins are done. Now we will take the dry fruits into a bowl and keep it aside. To the same pan add about half a cup of semia or thin vermicelli and cook until they turn slightly golden in color. If you have roasted vermicelli just heat it up for about a minute. Once the vermicelli turns golden we will turn off the flame and keep it aside. Take half a liter of full fat milk into a large pan and heat it on medium flame. Once the milk comes to boil, add in about half a cup of condensed milk and mix it really well so that it is combined. Then add in the roasted semia or vermicelli to it. Now mix it up well so that they don't lump up and cook it until it is done. It will take about 5 to 7 minutes for the semia to cook, get cooked well. Then add in about 3 fourth portion of the roasted dry fruits to it and mix it up well. Let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Then add in about 1 to 2 tablespoons of sugar depending upon how sweet you want it to be and mix it well until the sugar dissolves. Then add in a pinch of saffron strands to it because it adds a nice flavor and taste to the shir kurma. Add in a pinch of salt in order to balance the sweetness. Please do not skip this step, ok? Then mix it up really well and cook it for about 2-3 to three minutes. Now 
Then add in half a teaspoon of green cardamom powder and about half a teaspoon of rose water to it and mix well. You can also add kevra water or kevra essence or rose essence to it instead. Now mix it well. Let it cook for about 2 minutes and then turn off the flame and serve it warm. Enjoy! Wasn't it quite easy? I hope you all will try this recipe out at home and let me know through the comment section below how it turned out for you. Do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and share this video with all your loved ones so that they'll get to know the quick and easy version of Sheer Kurma. Subscribe to my channel for many more such amazing recipes and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Catch you guys with another one. Until then take care, bye bye and wish you all a happy Ramzan once again. Special Ramzan recipe, one of the most liked Ramzan recipe I should share. <laughs> Sorry.